Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm going to be doing a new kind of video. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I'm thinking Beyond the Pit or something like that. Uh, it's basically a concert experience video. And today I'll be talking about my State Champs concert experience. I saw State Champs on May 12th at Irving Plaza in New York. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to go to this show. My friend got the tickets for us, I think, back in like maybe February-ish time. The doors opened at... 5.30 I think, 6. The concert was started at 7. Uh, it took us about 40 minutes to get there and we got there, it already started wrapping around by this Chinese place up there. We're like, oh crap, like, you know, like, we didn't plan on getting in the front anyway, we didn't want to get any mosh pits or anything. I'm off for GA concerts, I don't like getting moshed, I'm sorry. So we get in there, we're like, holy crap, we're actually getting close. What the frick, we didn't even try to get close. So we're walking in there, we're like, oh yeah, I want to stay in the back. And we see, right when you walk in, there's this little bit of a lip and it has this gate. This little bar arm wrestling, uh, kind of like a parent area, I guess you could say, but we didn't know we could stand up there. We kind of looked at it and we went and go up there, and there was a security guy, and we kind of made eye contact. And we went, You guys can go up there, we're like, Yes. So we got really close, actually. Like, we got right to the end of that thing, which is insanely close to the stage. And we're like, Great, okay, I'm comfortable here. We can move arms down, we can squat, we can move a second, we can keep our legs relaxed. It was good. It was. We're like, okay, we're comfortable, we're good. Uh, but so, you know, people start filling in, whatever. And then I notice this person walk by. So the layout from there is the floor. The layout this way is the floor, the stage, and then right next to the stage is this door. And this door leads backstage. There's only one door that goes backstage. Okay. And so, with Khan, with meeting people before the show person walks out and they walk up and it's basically they come this way there's this little bit of like a stair and they go right across that little platform that we're standing on this person walks by and i kind of walk and i was thinking shit that's josh from withcon if you don't know josh brzezzi is the drummer for confidence it's great definitely go listen to the music if you haven't it is 10 out of 10 would recommend i told my friend next to me i was like Dude, Josh has walked by us because we are both obsessed with coffee. She goes, oh my god, what? And I was like, yeah, look over there. And he was meeting people by his merch table. And she was like, oh my god, like, she was freaking out too. And we were like, okay, if he comes back, we'll ask him to like, take a picture. If not, we didn't really, like, you know, it was chill, whatever. So he comes back. It was right about when Don Barongo was about to start, so we had to get back to the which we understood. We were like, hey, you know, like, maybe, we like, Oh, can we get a picture? And he said, like, I can't do an Australian accent for my life, so I'm not gonna try. But he was like, I'm oh, sorry, I have to go backstage. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. And then he's like, bye, bye. And I'm like, damn it. So Don Bronco comes on, you know, they're doing their thing. About 10 minutes into their set, Josh comes back out. And I said to video, I was like, Josh is back out. And he walks up, and he steps in that little thing, and he goes, did you guys want a picture? And we're like, yeah, yes, yes, we do. Hell yes, we want a picture. So he came back out and asked us. This boy, man, I love him so much. My friend gives me her phone and I take her picture. And then he was about to walk in and I was like, can we give him more? And he was like, yeah. And so I went and sent him, she took our picture. And then I kind of like side hugged him and I was like, you're going to kill it. And he's the biggest smile on my face. He's like, thank you. And then he walked back out. I don't know if he actually needed to get something else. I was like, the worst thing or whatever. And then he's a fine, he's a fine, and whatever. <sighs> but they, they all walked by us. Like, Jaden walked by us, and Amy walked by us, and Luke walked by us. Luke looked like he did not want to be bothered. He had to split up an area, and he was like, he was like, the moment, I was just not this mom. Don Bracco went ham. God, I have never seen them live before. They were really good. They were, I did not know many other songs, but they were really good. Uh, the singer got down me like uh, the crowd. It was like a bit and they were just going at it and I was like, good for you. The guitarist got up on the speaker. You know, I thought he was gonna fall off, honestly. I was nervous for him. The basis in Pine Crawford is so attractive. With Pong came on and I was like, yes, yes. Like boy, yes. Like, boys also I love them. They killed it. It was great to see them live. But against the current, killed it. They were really good. This one guy kept screaming, 
Chrissy, you're beautiful. And she would not acknowledge it at all. But then they walked by us. And she was kind of talking to people for a second. And then, oh my god, Quincy, you are a beautiful human being. And then she was like, okay. Like, she finally acknowledged it. And I was like, this is insane. When State Champs came out, oh my god. I was gone. I was literally gone. Try to find a spot in your venue like I did if you don't like the whole GA thing and that's what's stopping you. Just go. Honestly, I didn't know that was going to be there. I've never been to Irving Plaza in my life. But go. Um, we were planning to stay in the back and just listen to the music. If you get a chance, just see them. Just see them. It got to, I want to say 10.30. Now keep in mind, we weren't staying in New York for the night. And the last train running was an 11.25 train. All of my favorite songs, not that I don't like their whole set list, they had a great set list. But a lot of my like, top, top favorites were like, were towards the end. Sucks. Like, Secrets was the last song they played. We thought it was going to be really hard to get out, so I let us out. And then, honestly, the, the back back, where the bars of us, was completely empty. We left during prep school, and I was like, trying to find that perfect score. People thought it was insane. I was like, why are you singing when you're leaving the venue? What are you doing? It was worth it. Stay tuned. We were worth it. We were meeting Josh. Worth it. It was, yes. So, that is my concert experience. I hope you enjoy it. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media down below. I'll see you guys in a video soon.